following TV show Dicks may contain lies, exaggerations, made up crap, and slander. Enjoy! Oh, hi, I'm Chris Stapp. And I'm Matt Heath. Tonight on Dicks, we take a look at New Zealand's most hypocritical dicks. Our beautiful country has a problem. It's riddled with hypocritical dicks from the bottom to the top. Take this rubber Johnny of a PM, who's also the Minister of Tourism, but chooses to take his poncy rich man holidays in his $5 million home in Hawaii. I guess New Zealand isn't good enough for Mr. Toffee Rich Nose Pooh Hole. How about you spend your money in New Zealand, Richie Rich, or shut up? That's why you, Mr. Prime Minister of Tourism, are our first nominated hypocritical dick. The Auckland City Council fines taggers up to 5,000 bucks per tag. But rich dick knob ad agencies in their <laughs> guerrilla street marketing campaigns only get fined a hundred bucks for the same fucking crime. And this supposedly anti-tagging council pays these same ad dicks to advertise their sh council events. Hypocrites! Does this mean a tagger called Auckland City Council could tag anywhere he wanted without getting in shit? What about hippies? They'll hug trees all night if you let them. And then they jump in their shit f***ing house bus, piss up and down the country spewing black smoke all over our precious f***ing environment. Hypocrites! Hippogriffs are magical half-eagle, half-horse beings. Born of griffins and sometimes featured in J.K. Rowling's books about gay wizards. And for f***'s sake, please don't get me started on this stupid Irish planet saving git. I've got an idea, mate. Instead of hassling your Auckland Mount Smart Stadium crowd to text in money to starving kids, why don't you catch a fucking taxi to sound check and send the starving kids the change on your helicopter ride, you hypocrite! Boner and the Edge are our fourth nominated hip a critical dex. And get this, the other night I had some mates around at my house for a few beers. Nothing big, no massive party, no loud stereo, but the church across the road called noise control. Then, 7.30 the next morning, I wake up with that f***ing bell ringing 28 times! F***ing hypocrites! Shut up! I'm very hungover! And you're about Christians in general, always making complaints about sex and violence on TV, when their favourite book contains sex and violence. It also contains rape, torture, sodomy, racism, slavery, domestic violence, and nailing a nice young man to a bit of wood. I mean, how violent is that? What the fuck? And that's why complaining Christians and your hypocritical R-rated book are our first nominated dicks. It is no surprise that our next subjects are hypocrites. They are parasitic worms leeching off their fellow man. They are, of course, parking warden scum. Just look at this muncher. He's handing out a ticket to someone for parking on a yellow line. And at the same time, he's f***ing parked on a yellow line! This f***ing hypocrite is committing the same fucking crime he's punishing the other for! What the fuck? Okay, we've been waiting up here for about an hour. We've finally seen a parasitic parking dick. I'm going to go down there and I'm going to ask him to justify his actions. And uh, hopefully we can get a straight answer. Unfortunately, Matt unplugged his mic like a dick, thus f***ing the audio for this entire informative interview. Hey, mate, why are you being such a dick? I'm just doing my job, mate. Why are you a dick? Just, look. I'm just... Your job sucks, mate. You're a dick. Look. Dude, your job sucks. Look, I'm just doing my are job. Are you proud of yourself? Just look. Are you proud of yourself? Just walk away. You're a dick. Just walk away. You're a dick. Just walk away, mate. You're a dick. You know the... Is that right, hypocritical parking dick? Well, how do you like your eggs? Tickets for infringements you commit yourselves for calling the cops when we pelted you with eggs when you pelted our cars with tickets. Parking wardens are New Zealand's biggest hypocritical dicks. May your names live on in infamy. Listen up, New Zealand. Hypocrites hide in every corner of our beautiful nation. You could be one yourself. So tonight, New Zealand, before you go to bed, take a good hard look in the mirror and ask yourself, am I a hypocritical dick? And if the answer is yes, Punch yourself in the face.
Ow. Oh. 